have a beautiful steak here. This is a strip loin or a New York strip. There is four or five names for this, but it's certainly the best steak and there is no meat like we have in America. This is cut to about eight ounces, you know, and I can put it down, pound it a little bit, and uh, I'm going to grill it. A dash of salt, a dash of pepper. Of course, I do a lot of my grilling outside, but I wanted to show you that it can be done inside. A dash of olive oil on top. And there is a special technique. It's not the only technique, but the technique that I use for quadrillage. So you put it on the side here. And that has to cook, depending how you like your steak, but certainly at least a minute before you flip it over. Tiny bit of uh, oil on top as well. So that is oil on both sides. Now the proper technique, I start from here and to go here. And after we'll go this way and this way. So now I'm ready to flip it. It should be marked as my pan is really hot. So now you see from here, I put it there and the line are the opposite of this. You can flip it only twice. I like to flip it four times. I think that it equalizes the cooking from one side to the other and there is no, the center, the exact center are the proper color. And now I will flip it so that it goes in that direction. Remember from here to here, now this way. Here. And as you see, now the line will be in sync with this. So remember this way, this way, now this way, and now this way. Set. That's set. My steak is cooked. You can see here the quadrillage. You can see here the quadrillage. One side, the same than the other side. That's ready to be served for medium rare. I would usually put a little bit of herb butter on top of it. Tarragon lemon juice, butter, cracked pepper, and that's it. Now as you see that steak should be about medium rare this way. This is the way I like it. Juicy and with the redness right in the center of it. You see there is a certain amount more cooked here and there, but the redness is there. This is heaven. Very good.